Now let us discuss about the most interesting and the simple principle that is Archimedes principle. Archimedes is the name of a scientist. Uh, he actually discovered this principle in a very interesting way. I will share that story little later. First let me tell the use of this principle. So based on this principle people have designed the ships. So we all know the ship, the big ship. Uh, where its base is made up of iron, wood and steel floats on a water, right? And also based on this principle itself, submarines were designed. Submarines are uh, kind of ships that move underwater, right? So which can be used uh, in uh, Navy during a war time. And not only that, based on this principle, you can even check the purity of materials. Okay, so purity of some liquids or solids or anything can be checked. The best example is, you know, hydrometers were designed. Hydrometers, lactometers. Okay, so lactometer uh, is the device which is used to, to check the purity of milk. Right? Whether a milk is pure or not, how much extent the water got mixed up, you know, all that you can check it with the help of lactometer. So, uh, the all these things will work based on our Archimedes principle and now let us understand this Archimedes principle uh, with a very simple uh, demonstration. Okay, so first let me read out the definition of Archimedes. So when you read out the definition, you feel as though it is very much confused. But when you understand uh, the concept behind it, it's very, very easy. Okay, so first let me read out. Let, let me split and read out. Let's understand the sentence. Uh, you know, uh, let's split and understand. Okay, see. It says something like this, when a body or any object, body in the sense it can be any object, when it is immersed fully or partially in a fluid, it experiences an upward force. This we know, isn't it? See, uh, I have also shown you an activity like a glass of water where you know, I'll put this ball into this glass of water. It is actually partially immersed in a liquid. And you know what? I can fully immerse it by applying a pressure from top. Okay. And you know, as I make it to push into the water, you know, I am experiencing a force. I mean, you have uh, the force by water, which is pushing it up. That is what we mean by upward pressure by water, isn't it? So this upward pressure is experienced uh, by a body when it is fully immersed or partially immersed. And we know that upward pressure is nothing but buoyant pressure, right? So it is called as buoyant force, right? Buoyant force or buoyant pressure, whatever it is. So this buoyant force experienced by an object is equal to the weight of fluid displaced by it. So the buoyant force experienced by an object is always equal to weight of fluid. For simplicity, let me consider water as fluid here. Weight of water displaced. Okay, so this is what uh, our Archimedes principle in a simple terms. Okay, so let us uh, just learn this demonstration. Say suppose I will explain the meaning of this particular sentence. See I have on a plate I have this cup. Okay, so where uh, this cup I will take the water fully. Okay, so I am taking water fully. Fully water I am taking. Right. So I'll add little more water. Okay. So it should be about to fall. So to such an extent, I took a water. Now what I will do is, this is the object. Okay. So this object, I will immerse fully. So when I immerse fully, definitely water will get spilled. Isn't it? See? Right? Yes. Water got spilled. So when I immersed, water got spilled. Right? So now, 
you know what when i immerse this object this will experience a buoyant force no so that buoyant force is equal to the water that is spilled up in this plate okay so how much of water that got spilled up you know this much so i have emptied the cup now i will uh, take the spilled water okay so this much is the filled water suppose suppose you know if when i uh, take the weight of this water uh, uh, suppose i have got around 5 grams okay so this is the weight of water so this weight of water the displaced water weight of this displaced water is always equal to the buoyant force okay so how much is the buoyant force experienced by that object when you immerse it fully that is 5 grams so it is the way of knowing how much buoyant force the object is experiencing okay so the amount of buoyant force experienced by an object is always equal to the amount of water that got displaced okay so very simple so this is what we mean by our archimedes principle okay so when somebody said okay so i have added this ball uh, i'll fully immerse this and if i ask you how much uh, how much is the buoyant force this ball is experiencing i mean how much is the uh, upward pressure or upward force this ball is experiencing then so i'll i'll take the water fully i'll immerse the ball water will get spilled up no that is displaced water if you can take the mass of the displaced water then that will be equal to the buoyant force right so this is what mass or weight right weight is nothing but uh, you know the amount of substance under the influence of gravity no so weight uh, what is the unit for weight it is a newton right so uh, you know phi newton if i consider the weight as phi newton then buoyant force experienced by an object is also equal to phi newton okay so this is the meaning of this particular sentence and this is what we mean by archimedes principle and there are so many versions of archimedes principle okay so this is the basic one and there is another thing called uh, archimedes volume principle okay so this is the whatever i explained now is the meaning of the sentence that is there in a book so now let me also give one more information you have another form of archimedes principle okay so that is archimedes volume principle archimedes volume just volume see using this archimedes principle you can find out the volume of objects guys say suppose i have this object right so i know this is a sphere it's a perfect sphere right so when i ask you what is the volume of this particular sphere then definitely you will say that like you have a formula to calculate the volume of this particular object because it's a sphere so what is the volume of sphere volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube isn't it so you will calculate the diameter uh, using a thread or scale or something okay so you will divide by 2 when you divide diameter by 2 you will get radius so you will substitute that value and you will find the volume easily okay but if i ask you to find out the volume of this object okay so if i uh ask you to find out the volume of this object it's very difficult because it does not have a perfect shape right right so you know in that case how do you find out the volume this you can find out by volume displacement experiment uh, which is based on archimedes principle what archimedes says is you know what whenever you have a irregular object okay so you put it in a water right so water gets displaced right so the volume of displaced water the volume of displaced water is equal to the volume of you know this irregular object right so if i have to find the volume of this object it's very simple you put it in a water water get displaced okay so find out the volume of displaced water that is equal to the volume of this particular object 
okay suppose the water displaced were uh, 5 ml then what is the volume of this particular object it will be 5 ml or 5 cm cube okay so this is what we mean by archimedes volume principle so you can uh, learn archimedes principle in different forms one of the forms which is there in your textbook is this and and also the another important aspect is using archimedes volume principle you can find the volume of irregular object okay for a regular objects like sphere circle uh, rectangle you know you have formulas to find the volume that you have learned in mathematics but to find the volume of irregular objects you know this archimedes volume law can be used so just the volume of water displaced is equal to the volume of object okay so let me write the concept here volume of water displaced displaced is equal to volume of object okay fine and you know what uh, this particular concept is widely used and you know using this particular concept only archimedes could able to solve a problem which has arisen for his king you know how actually this discovery has come forward this is a very interesting story listen carefully see archimedes was a greek scientist and you know in his kingdom the king has got one problem what the king has done was he has given a pure gold to a goldsmith to make a crown so the goldsmith made a crown and he brought the crown to a king but the king was in a dilemma the king was in a doubt that whether the crown is completely made up of the gold he has given or did goldsmith mixed any other uh, substances like silver copper and all with it so he wanted to identify the purity of uh, the crown okay so he was having a doubt on a goldsmith that he has mixed something into a crown okay so to solve this problem he called archimedes and said okay see this is the crown this much amount of gold i gave to goldsmith see whether he has used the complete uh, amount of gold i had given okay uh, find out its purity and be careful you should not break this crown okay so archimedes was thinking how to find out so suddenly you know when archimedes fell on a bathtub so bathtub was fully with water archimedes fell on a bathtub when he fell on a bathtub the water got spilled outside as he was going deeper and deeper more and more water was falling out from a bathtub you also might have experienced this right so when you suddenly jump into a bathtub the water in a bathtub may spill outside see and that moment he got an idea how to solve the problem of king's crown okay so he was very happy that he got a idea and uh, he just jumped, jumped out of bathtub uh, being naked and he shouted uh, calling out eureka okay so eureka eureka he shouted and he went on a street so eureka in the sense yes i got an idea i found it okay he 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 at that moment he got an idea right how to find out the purity of things so he was very happy he was running out of bathtub shouting eureka 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 okay so the thing is he took a crown okay he took a crown and he took the original like the same amount of gold that uh, king had given and uh, you know he dipped both of them in a water he dipped the crown in a water and he also dipped the same amount of gold uh, like uh, which king had given for the goldsmith into a water you know the moment he dipped the crown he had seen more water got spilled up more water got spilled up and the pure gold what uh, the same amount of uh, gold that was given for the goldsmith no when that amount of gold was dipped you know less amount of water got spilled up if it was same weight same uh, gold content same amount of water should spill out right but the crown had uh, spilled more water why because the goldsmith has mixed silver guys 
okay S silver has got less density right you know the density formula density is equal to mass by volume right see when something has got less density when something has got less density volume will be greater see density and volume is inversely proportional no? density less volume more since the volume is more volume of metals in this crown along gold is there go, along with gold silver and copper were also there so they were having less density you know as a result of that more volume because of the more volume here more water got spilled up look at here volume of water displaced is equal to volume of object right so more volume more water got spilled up and, and here this stuff is completely made up of pure gold you know so pure gold has got more density guys density is more since density is more volume is less no so less amount of water less amount of water uh, might have got spilled up so unequal amounts of water got spilled up when he has immersed crown as well as gold so that's how we came to know the crown is not pure he has definitely mixed up with some silver or copper this is how he solved the king's problem okay so that led to the discovery of uh, these two aspect okay so this particular definition is what there in your textbook so you have to know the meaning of this and also the other version of archimedes principle that is archimedes volume principle so both are very very important and based on this aspect the ships submarines uh, and various other devices purity checking de devices have been designed okay so that's all about the chapter gravitation hope you all have enjoyed this chapter share the videos with your friends let the knowledge spread wide okay thank you so much see you all with the next chapter